Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan. I am here just doing my makeup for you today. I don't have a specific look or tutorial that I'm doing today. I'm just kind of putting my makeup on like I do when I'm getting ready in the morning. So a couple of the products that I'm using today, um, I've been using recently, they're kind of new, um, new to me, new in general. Um, and yeah, so this is going to be like my first time putting them on on camera, so hopefully this goes well. I'm going to start out by using a little bit of the Hope in a Jar foundation from Philosophy. This is shade 5. I talked about this, or I posted a picture of this on my Instagram, and I said that I would um, review it. I've only been wearing it for about a week, so I can't really give you like a full review on it yet, um, but so far I'm liking it. So let's start with that. I'm also going to mix it with the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer. Mix that together and dot it on my face. The immediate thing you notice with this foundation is it has a scent. What does it smell like? You may ask. Mint. This foundation smells minty. Is that weird? I think so. I'm just blending this in with my fingers because I'm lazy. And once I have that mostly blended in, I'm going to use my Miracle Complexion Sponge from Real Techniques and Pat. I like the foundation. When I wear it on its own, um, it gives me a nice medium coverage, and especially when I apply it with a brush, I can get a really good coverage from it. But I find it to be a little bit dark for me right now because I got matched when I was self-tanned. Um, so I mixed it with a primer because that kind of lightens it up and gives it a sheerer, um, a sheerer texture. And it really gives it a nice glowy effect. Um, although the foundation is pretty glowy on its own when you first apply it. This foundation is really great for normal to dry skin. I probably wouldn't use it on oily skin because it does say light as air hydrating fluid makeup on it. Um, and I have pretty normal skin and I've been liking it, but I do like to set it with a powder because it can get a little bit shiny in the T-zone throughout the day. I'm just using a little bit of my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer around my nose and on this one's mm, a couple of spots. And I'm just buffing this in with a domed shadow brush from Real Techniques as well. Under my eyes, I am going to use my Rimmel Match Perfection Concealers. You're going to get tired of these, but I'm obsessed with them. I'm mixing the two lightest shades to get my perfect color. Taking the light one first. And then the second lightest one. Just kind of on top of that. Then I'm just going to use my finger today for these spots where I'm highlighting, and then I'm going to use the Miracle Complexion Sponge under my eye. Zuh. Two eyes. And that is my base done. So I'm just going to powder that with my Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light, because it's the only powder I like. Um, yeah. And I'm using this on a... this brush. Bedellium Tools, and this is the 964, I think it's just a powder brush or a blush brush or something, and I'm just going to tap it through the center and anywhere I had my concealer. I've really been liking this foundation a lot. I was a little bit iffy when I got it because it's from a skincare line, um, and I guess it's just kind of weird for me like using makeup from a skincare line because you never know if it's going to be like good or like it's kind of one of their first ventures into the makeup world so it was interesting and they did really well I kind of love it I think I'm gonna skip the bronzer today and I'm gonna go on to my Clinique cheek pop in ginger pop number one and use the same brush that I just used for the powder and apply that to my cheeks like normal nothing crazy here guys just going for something natural everyday kind of makeup. I really like the flush that this gives. Um, for my skin tone, it's always weird for me with blush because some of them are too, too pink, but this has a very warm orangey color, and I find that to be the most natural for me. It's kind of like blush and bronzer together, because it kind of warms the skin up, 
like a bronzer, but brightens it like a blush. <laughs> what I'm saying is this is great, and it works for people with a light but still neutrally olive skin tone. Um, I don't know how this would work on somebody with a cooler, more pink skin tone, um, but if you're like me and you have a light olive skin tone, this is great stuff. I find the texture of this blush to be interesting. When you look at it, it's kind of almost cream looking. It applies kind of powdery in a good way. It's very long lasting. Um, I don't find myself touching this up very often like I do with some of my other blushes. To highlight or not to highlight? That is the question. Oh, why not? Why not? This is Marc Jacobs 302 Close Up. I'm gonna use the two bronzier shades. It's kind of a tri-color. I'm gonna use the two darker shades. Same brush, because I'm really lazy today and I don't want to get up. And we are well on our way. Next, I'm gonna do some eyebrows, because you know how that makes me feel. For brows, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Dip Brow in Blonde. I have talked about this in my last couple of videos, but I realized I have not actually put it on for you. So I'm gonna do that right now. With this, I like to dip my brush in and get the tiniest bit and then kind of put everything that I got into the cap um, and then kind of just work it really into the brush. Cause if you just apply this straight on to the eyebrows, it can be pretty full on, um, pretty um, intense, heavy. So I'm gonna brush my brows down and start with the arch. I think I'm gonna keep it pretty natural today since this is already a pretty dark product. And just kind of fill in naturally, or as natural as I can do it. The outer part of this brow needs a little bit more love. Um, but as you can see, like right here, there's no product there and it's pretty, pretty close. So I'm just gonna kind of Fix the outer portion here. And if you can hear a leaf blower or a lawnmower or whatever that hideous sound is, I apologize. My neighbor is doing yard work. And those are my brows. Um, another note on this, it's so pigmented. I, you know, put the brush in there and then put on the cap and I didn't have to go back for more to do, I like, just did them both with the smallest amount of product. It's insane. Every day, this is a thing I do. This is the Anastasia, Anastasia, whatever you call it, tinted brow gel in espresso. I use this as mascara because blonde eyelashes aren't cute. Unless you have them, then they're really precious. Can you put your mascara on with your mouth closed? Brows check, lashes check, skin check, cheeks check, lips check. So I purchased a thing that I didn't need. This may or may not be YSL. Uh, Volupte, sheer, Volupte, Volupte, Volupte. I'm not French. Sheer candy, number two, dewy papaya. This literally is lip balm. Did I need 30 something dollar lip balm? Certainly not. Is it beautiful? Certainly. This adds the tiniest hint of corally, orangey-ness to my lips. It doesn't really look like anything, just kind of looks like lip balm, but luxury lip balm. I... I... And that is my face. This is kind of more or less what I do day to day going to work. Um, I, yeah, I don't always wear foundation like I did today. Sometimes I opt for more of like a tinted moisturizer or just kind of conceal my blemishes and under eyes and just leave the skin bare. But that's an idea of what I do day to day. Um, and it was nice to talk to you while I did it. <sighs> Every time. Whatever. 
let's roll with it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my Instagram and Twitter, both are at John John Talks, and my blog that I should probably start posting on again, which is Jonathan Curtis on yt.blogspot.com. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. They're so cute. <laughs> There's pink ones with squarey designs. Is this a musical episode <laughs> of Birchbox opening? <laughs> Hashtag the rat is back.